Timeline, Miocic vs. Dos Santos 2 October 25th, 2008, UFC 90, Silva vs. Cote, Chicago, Illinois Junior Dos Santos makes his UFC debut against future UFC champion Fabricio Verdun. Dos Santos wins by a spectacular uppercut knockout early in the first round. Dos Santos hits knockout of the night. Dos Santos would go on to win his next five fights in dominant fashion, including four by stoppage. June 11, 2011. UFC 131, Dos Santos vs. Carwin, Vancouver, Canada. Originally, UFC 131 was booked as Brock Lesnar vs. Dos Santos, who Lesnar pulled out due to illness. Shane Carwin replaces Lesnar in Dos Santos' first UFC pay-per-view main event. Do you like being in the spotlight like this? Yeah, I really like to, to, to be in this. Now, here, you know, make the main event, it's, everything is... It's great in my life. I, I was, I was, I got the the the, the title shot. Then uh, now I have to make another fight, you know. But I'm feeling great and I'm ready to 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 beat Shane Carwin and go straight to the title. Dos Santos dominates Carwin for 15 minutes and wins by unanimous decision. Were you happy with your performance? Yeah, I'm happy. I was I was feeling a little bit nervous, you know, too much too much things in line for me for in this fight. But but I think it was a was a good fight. I I, I like I said I have a good take it as a fence, so I proved tonight. October 8th, 2011. UFC 136 Edgar versus Maynard 3. Houston, Texas. Stipe Miocic debuts in the UFC against Joey Beltran. Miocic wins by unanimous decision. November 12, 2011, UFC on Fox 1, Velasquez vs. Dos Santos, Anaheim, California. Dos Santos is booked not only to face the UFC heavyweight champion, Cain Velasquez, but to headline the UFC's first event on Fox. I'm myself, you know. I, I just me. I like it. I, I like to be nice. I like I like when people are nice to me. Are, ni uh, are nice with me. I nice with them. I, I'm nice with them, and well, I, and I think uh, the 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 good energy is very very good for you. So when you are nice with pe people, they send you good energies. It's good. Where do you think you're better than Cain Velasquez in the fight game? Where do you think you have the advantage? I think, you know, I'm really confident this fight is stand-up and he got a pretty good Muay Thai, but man, I believe so much in my, my boxing skills, so I really, I really think I can knock people out and that's what I try to do. Dos Santos delivers Velasquez the first defeat of his career by knockout, 64 seconds into round one. Well, my game plan was to keep the fight stand-up, you know, because uh, I, I love to fight stand-up. I, I, I'm really confident in that area. Uh, but uh, I, I was waiting for kicks, and uh, he got a pretty, pretty heavy kicks, you know. And then I, 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 I was looking for the, all of my fights. I looked for the knockout, and then I, I, because I know my, my coach used to say to tell me, I got pretty heavy hands. So I tried to use it when it started the, the, the fight because it's a good 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 time to use that you know, my power, you know? Because I'm 100 percent in that, that in that moment. So it's good to use my, my power and that works today. May 26, 2012. UFC 146, Dos Santos versus Mir, Las Vegas. In his first title defense, Dos Santos is set to face Frank Mir in the main event after his original opponent, Alistair Overeem, was pulled from the main event after licensing issues with the Nevada Athletic Commission after pre-fight drug tests revealed elevated testosterone levels. Uh, I've been saying for the last few weeks how much of a humble and respectful and professional champion that you are. You never really talk a lot of trash, but it seems to me like Frank Mir, for whatever reason, has gotten under your skin. Like, this is personal for you. Is that accurate? No, it's oh. not personal. Okay, take it back. <laughs> yeah, it's not personal for me because, you know, uh, I don't even know him personally, you know. I, why am I going to have some something personal with him? It's, uh, you know, I, 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 you know, I didn't disrespect him, you know, uh, and don't, I, did, I don't like to talk 
trash, you know, to use the talk trash, but uh, I just said my opinion about him, you know. Dos Santos defends his title with a second round TKO. My game plan is always to keep uh, fighting on my feet, you know, and looking for the knockout. And uh, Frank Mir is a very dangerous fighter, you know, especially when he he takes you down. And he tried to do that, and I, I tried to make him a little bit more tired in the first round. And I came to, uh, to the second round to, to knock him out. That was my strategy, and that works. Thank God for that. In the preliminary portion of that card, Stipe Miocic. After a quick knockout of the night performance in Nebraska over Philip DeFries, Miocic returns to face heavyweight prospect Shane Del Rosario. And they offered you Shane Del Rosario. He's making his UFC debut coming over from Strike Force. How much did you know about him when you got the call? Oh, I knew he was. You know, I knew he was, he's a good fighter in Strike Force, great fighter in Strike Force. And, uh, you know, when I, when I got the phone call, you know, I've been hesitating and took that fight. I asked him on Monday uh, if he knew you, what his reaction was when he got the call. He said he didn't know you, he had to Google you to find out about you. Does that surprise you? Yeah, I mean, I'm still, you know, I'm still a little guy, you know, working my way up. <laughs> so it doesn't surprise you? Oh, no, I'm, you know, I just give him a couple more, I don't, you know, I'm not worried about, you know, big names. Just keep fighting, keep getting better, and keep winning. Miocic wins a TKO in the second round. You're such a humble fighter, you're such a humble guy. How do you remain humble now? You're an undefeated UFC heavyweight, you've won 3 0 inside the octagon. Uh, you know, I have good coaches, you know, good teammates, good friends and family, you know, I just have good people around me. September 29, 2012. UFC on Fuel TV 5, Struve versus Miocic, Nottingham, England. After a 3 0 start in the UFC, Miocic is booked in his first main event against Stefan Struve. Miocic goes on to lose by second round TKO, but takes home fight of the night honors. December 29, 2012, UFC 155, Dos Santos versus Velasquez 2. In a little over a year since their first match, Dos Santos is set to rematch Cain Velasquez for the UFC championship. A lot of people talk about the fact that Cain was injured going into the first fight. You were injured as well, you told us after the fight. Do you feel like it's annoying, like they're taking something away from you and they continue, you know, the videos come out recently of his injury, like you, you don't get the, the full credit that you deserve for that win, the knockout win? Yeah, I don't know people are uh, saying that because the injury was the knee, I hit him in the head, you know, so that was really different, doesn't matter if the, wheel, the, the his knee was good or not, you know, if I punch him in the head uh, again, you know, he's gonna go down again, and I really believe that, I don't know people are saying that I was hurt too. I was with a knee injury too, you know, and that uh, I just enjoyed the, the better moment, you know. In that time, I was better than him, and that's it. I won the fight. You know, it was King Velasquez fighting against me, the best of King Velasquez. I know that, and, and for sure now he's he's coming with a very good strategy. He's gonna, I think he's gonna try to take me down right away, but uh, I'm very well prepared for that, and I want to knock him out again. Do you think the fight can end as quickly as the first one? Yeah, I think so. Everything's possible, especially in the heavyweight division. And right now, uh, I think it, this fight could be longer because he's going to come and, uh, like, you know, try to use his wrestling, you know, to, to make a, a kind of boring fight, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. But if, he, if I see the, the opening, you know, the moment, I'm going to enjoy the moment again. And I, th this fight can be faster. Velasquez wins by unanimous decision by brutal domination, including a rare 50-43 scorecard. This would also be Dos Santos' first loss in the UFC. Yeah, I mean, if I had to bet, I would have bet everything that I have that that fight wouldn't go five rounds, and I'd be broke right now. Um, I'd never expected that to happen. Cain Velasquez looked awesome. He came out in the beginning and was trading with Junior Dos Santos. Um, hurt him and then pretty much dominated the fight. You know, we saw what a what a tough, well-rounded fighter that Kane is, and I honestly think from the second round on, he could have stopped that fight whenever he wanted to. He was he was fighting and playing it safe, but still doing a ton of damage. And I, I can't confirm this; maybe one of my people can, but I heard that Junior broke his jaw in the second round. And what we learned tonight is Junior Dos Santos is one of the toughest dudes I've ever seen. I mean, he took big shots tonight. He stayed in the fight, and uh, you know, wow. May 25th, 2013. UFC 160, Velasquez versus Bigfoot Silva, 2. Las Vegas. 
though Santos returns to the cage to face Mark Hunt as the co-main event. What's it like being back here? Last time you were here, obviously it wasn't a good night for you. Do you get those memories back when you're here? What's it like for you? No, I don't get those memories back, you know. I, I think uh, I already fought so many times here in Vegas. I like it a lot. I like Vegas a lot. And, uh, well, I, I don't let this, uh, the, uh, what happens in the last fight happen again. So uh, uh, I'm, I, I'm coming very motivated for this fight, you know. I know I have a tough opponent in front of me. But what I want is fight for the title again. So I'm thinking about... Uh, studying and thinking about uh, Mark Hunt and uh, um, everything what I want is beat him. Dos Santos wins by spectacular spinning hook kick KO late into the third and final round. June 15, 2013, UFC 161, Evans versus Henderson, Winnipeg, Canada. Miocic makes his return to the cage as the co-main event against Roy Nelson. You're coming off a loss, first loss of your career. How does that change, you know, the way fight week feels for you, your mindset, you know, how you approach this fight? I think I approach every fight the same, you know, just going you know, to win. You know, I, of course, last fight didn't go the way I wanted it to, but you know, that's why I'm here and that's why I took the fight. You know, I don't know if you know about this, but there's some kind of behind-the-scenes drama with Roy Nelson going into this fight. Last fight on his UFC contract, if he wins, he obviously has a lot of momentum going into free agency. If he loses, all that momentum is gone. Do you like being that kind of spoiler? Do you like ruining those plans for him? I'm just worried about myself, that's all, you know. Did you even know about that situation? No. You know, him and Dana White have had their, well, their issues. A little bit about it, yeah, but I mean. I, be kind of the hitman, take him out. <laughs> no, I'm worried about myself. We're gonna, we're gonna fight on Saturday, so. Miocic defeats Nelson in a dominant unanimous decision. Was there any point in the fight where you thought maybe, you know, you're in trouble, you had to regroup, or did you feel like you were in control the entire 15 minutes. I felt like I was in control, you know? I was against the cage, I clinched him, he couldn't move me. So. Third round, did you just want to get the win at that point? Because you were hearing some boos, did that bother you? No, I was, I'm, I'm, I knew he was gonna go for kill. You know, he was gonna try to take my head off. You know, I was up two rounds and none. What would you do? I would sit there and play it smart, you know? I was still trying to hit him, I still, I think I finally rocked him a couple times in that third round. But whatever, you know, I got the win, that's all I care about, you know? Biggest athletic achievement of your career tonight? Oh yeah, of course, man. You've had some big ones, but this is big. Come on, man. Cool, man, man. Winnipeg first time, let's go. This is awesome. Don't get better than this. Miocic goes on to win his next two bouts in the UFC. In Chicago for UFC on Fox 10, Henderson versus Thompson, against Gabriel Gonzaga by unanimous decision. And in Sao Paulo, Brazil, Miocic knocks out Fabio Maldonado in the main event at Tough Brazil. October 19, 2013, UFC 166, Velasquez versus Dos Santos 3. Houston, Texas. Less than a year removed from their last fight, the trilogy match between the heavyweight champion Cain Velasquez and the former champion Junior Dos Santos is set. Cain has said, he just told us in fact, that um, he tried not to finish you, take your back in the first fight because he wanted to make you pay for what you did to him in the first fight. What do you make of this? Do you think it's true? Man, I really? He said that. He, he, he avoided submissions because he wanted to punish you. My gosh. Yeah. Wow, he's a, maybe he's the Superman, right? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he is. Actually, I don't think it's true. I think he, he's, kind, uh, he's kind of very arrogant of his, his, his part to say that, you know, because he did everything what he could do to finish the fight, but he wasn't able to do that. Tired of thinking of this man? I mean, you fought three times in less than two years at this point. No, no, I'm, I'm really, it's an honor for me to be competing at such high level against somebody like him, you know? And I want to fight, I want to fight any, any time, uh, like much more times if I could, if I need it to, you know? But uh, my, my main objective is to get the belt. So I don't care about who he is or who is going to be my opponent, you know? I'm thinking just about the belt and to good a good performance, show uh, show everything what I can show inside the octagon and, and get the victory. While Dos Santos did have his moments, Velasquez dominates Dos Santos in brutal fashion with a fifth round knockout over Dos Santos to retain his title. Key for us was to hit first and you know in, in some of those exchanges he was hitting first which made it difficult for us. The takedowns were more difficult. You know he obviously went you know went back to the drawing board and fixed a lot of stuff. Made it hard for us, but um, you know, <clears throat> I think that the thing that we worked the best on was uh, 
to shorten up the punches. They don't have to be as wide, more technical on the punches, and you know they, they ended up landing, so it was good. December 13th, 2014, UFC on Fox 13, Dos Santos versus Miocic, Phoenix, Arizona. And JDS, we have not seen you in action in over a year. October of last year was the last time. How much do you miss all of this? Now, let's not even talk about the fight for a second, just being here fight week. Yeah, I miss it a lot, you know. Uh, it was a very tough year for me, a very hard year. But I'm ha very happy right now because I'm back. I'm here, you know, to be living this comp competition world. It's good for me. I like this. Actually, that's what I do to, to, to actually to live. So uh, I love this. You know, I gotta say something to you here. You know, I've talked to you before. We've done interviews, Winnipeg, whatnot, and you don't seem to love doing media. And then I see you on Twitter, and you're like the most prolific Twitter tweeter out there. I mean, you're nonstop. I'm like, I'm like, was it Ricky Bobby? So it's like, what do I do with my hands? What do I, what do I do with these things? You know, I'm, I'm terrible at interviews. So I'm wondering, are you the one actually tweeting? I'm actually gonna go out there and, and call you out and wonder if you're the one tweeting. Of course. This is prolific stuff that you're doing. You're nonstop. It's, it's easy to write stuff. I just want to have a camera in my face. It's terrible. Like I get, if you, if you talk to my coaches, if I'm, I'm don't look at the camera. Just look right here. <laughs> you put me in the spot. No, man. No, I, uh, yeah, man. I just, I don't know. With cameras in my face, I have a hard time, and I'm like, uh, you know, and I get real, I get real shy. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm terrible at it. You should see me on the news when I go on the news. I'm terrible. Like I'm like, do you want to get better? I try. I'm trying. I'm trying. I've got, I've gotten better. I feel like the Twitter has really brought out your personality, though. I mean, you've really come. I'm trying. I have a good personality. I do. That's it's what unbelievable. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, 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 I want, I want to see more of it on camera because there, <laughs> there he is. That's the guy I'm talking about. In a fight of the night performance, Dos Santos wins a very close decision. The loss snaps Miocic's three-fight winning streak. Obviously, you disagree with the decision. Can you talk to us a little bit about about? What you thought of the scoring, obviously? Um, yeah, I, I mean, like Dana said, I slowed down a little bit, especially third, beginning of fourth, you know, um, I thought I needed more. And in the fourth, fifth rounds, you know, I mean, at least thought I won two of those rounds for sure. Maybe somewhat decently close, but apparently not. Um, like you say, don't let it go to the judges. And uh, you know what? He was a better man than that, and he got his hand raised, so nothing I can do about it. May 10th, 2015, UFC Fight Night 65, Miocic versus Hunt. Adelaide, Australia. Miocic headlines yet another UFC card, this time in South Australia against Mark Hunt. In what would be a historic night, Miocic lands a total of 361 strikes, the most of any fighter in UFC history. Miocic officially wins by TKO midway in the final round. December 19, 2015. UFC on Fox 17, Dos Anjos vs. Cerrone, Orlando, Florida. Dos Santos is matched up against Alistair Overeem in the co-main event. We've been wanting to see this fight for over two years, UFC 146, when you were champion. Does it almost feel surreal that we're just two days away from you finally fighting Alistair? I feel like we've been talking about this one forever. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. That's, that's strange. It's very strange, you know, but... Uh, uh, I feel good now, you know, to be fighting against him. He's a very tough opponent, everybody knows that. And uh, he likes to talk, you know, <laughs> to, to promote the fight. But many things of what he say doesn't make sense to me, you know, because who pulled out of the first fight was him, you know, because he failed in the drug test. And he was saying, I didn't like to fight him, you know. I don't pick opponents, man. <laughs> I, I fight anyone, any one of the heavyweights that UFC pick to fight against me, you know, so uh, uh, I'm happy, you know, to be fighting against him. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like with butterflies in my belly, you know, because uh, long time I don't fight. Yeah. So I feel like when something similar how, when I fought uh, uh, Verdun, like long in 2008. So uh, it's good. It, it makes me feel good. Overeem wins by second round TKO despite objections to the stoppage from Dos Santos. January 2nd, 2016, UFC 195, Lawler vs. Condit, Las Vegas, Nevada. Back on a win streak, Miocic is set to face former champion Andre Arlovsky in the pay-per-view co-main event. This is sort of a dream matchup for you because of his striking. I feel like you guys are kind of cut from the same cloth. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, you know, dream, I don't know, I don't know anyone thinks of anything's dream getting punched in the face, but uh, in general, uh, no, yeah, I think it's going to be a great matchup between both of us, but, uh, you know, I think I'm, uh, you know, I'm a better striker, and I think I'm faster, and I have you know, better cardio, so we'll, we'll see, you know. He's, he's going to bring his A game, too, so. 
Miocic quickly dispenses the Belarusian by knockout in under a minute of round one. The knockout earns Stipe an extra 50,000 for performance of the night. Uh, I, I know you can't go be a different person, but have, have you made any kind of a decision that, that you want to try to be more outspoken? Was this? I guess, I don't know. I think I'm a funny guy. I mean, my friends think I'm funny. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm a fireman. I mean, you know, I like fighting. It's fun. April 10th, 2016, UFC Fight Night 86, Dos Santos versus Rothwell, Zagreb, Croatia. Dos Santos' opponent in the main event is top 10 veteran Big Ben Rothwell. Dos Santos wins a 50-45 on all three judges' scorecards. May 14th, 2016, UFC 198, Verdum versus Miocic, Curitiba, Brazil. After 10 fights in the UFC, going 8-2 and, and on a two-fight win streak, Miocic gets his shot at gold against the champion. Miocic wins in what MMAfighting.com voted knockout of the year. Miocic becomes UFC heavyweight champion at 2 minutes and 47 seconds into round one. Uh, you know, I didn't believe I, I carried the weight. You know, I was going to go out there and do my best job. You know, Fabrice is a, a super tough guy. He's a champion for a reason. Um, you know, actually tonight on ESPN for 30 for 30, they had Believeland. There was a, a documentary about how Cleveland sports did win on championships. So I just I knew I had to put an end to it. You know, I had to put the, stop the curse for us. And, uh, you know, it went well for me tonight. September 10th, 2016. UFC 203, Miocic versus Overeem, Cleveland, Ohio. The UFC comes to Cleveland for the first time, and their hometown fighting hero, Stipe Miocic, is matched up against Alistair Overeem to defend his title for the first time. After getting dropped and surviving a submission attempt, Miocic recovers and defeats Overeem by knockout four minutes and 27 seconds into the first. Thank God it's over. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, you hit a lot harder than I thought. You know, you put me on my ass. But, you know, I, thought I was okay. You know, he put me down. You know, for a split second, I was like, oh. But then, you know, got me there for now. Like, I got out of it. I felt fine. And then took over. Cuban people are crazy. That's why I live here. That's how we do it. We don't mess around. We wait till next week and then I go tailgating in the Browns game. You're going to see a lot more fights. I'm not going to be in one of them, but, you know, we watch them. Uh, that's how we do it, man. You know, like, uh, like I said, I'd rather fight Brazil, man, because that was just, uh, you know, I got a little emotional in my head for a split second. You know, it was badass, you know, and then people were, you know, just, you know, I just try to mentally keep him out, but uh, it, it was, uh, I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. May 13th, 2017, UFC 211, Miocic versus Dos Santos 2, Dallas, Texas. The champion Miocic is set to even the score with challenger Junior Dos Santos as the main event in Dallas, Texas at UFC 211. <laughs> 